Despite the winter weather, ticks are still alive. More and more, the pests are being considered a year-round concern. And tonight, we sit down with a Lyme disease victim who says there are still more questions than answers about the illness. You can see where the golf course is and somewhere along there is where I got my tick. Bit in his own backyard in Aurora. And for four years, Frank Snape has been living with Lyme disease. But like so many patients, he had no idea what it was for months. I had MRIs, I had the whole scam, the whole works. And um, uh, they couldn't come to any conclusion. The only real clue was a telltale bullseye rash that expanded on his leg. I can't blame the medical profession because uh, they don't have a test. No definitive test and no real treatment if the disease isn't caught early enough. I've tried various treatments over the years. Two naturopathic doctors, a homeopathic doctor, and a variety of antibiotics. Four years later, what are your symptoms like now? Um, good days, bad days. <clears throat> Today is a good day. You've caught me on a good day. A bad day would be just no energy, uh, no motivation, no desire to do anything. It's just uh, difficult. And there are pains, tickling in the toes and tickling in the hands. There'll be pain in the neck, uh, pain in the shoulder. And then the next day, I'll be in the gym. And all my friends say, well, you look just fine. There's nothing wrong with you. It's, that's the nature of the beast. In Canada, there's been an increase in the number of Lyme disease cases in the last 10 years, especially in children aged 5 to 9. From 144 cases in 2009 to 992 cases in 2016. There's some good evidence that climate change has been an important factor in the expansion of the range of black-legged ticks. Toronto Public Health says the pests are moving from eastern Ontario cities like Kingston, where 40% of the tick population carries the bacteria that causes Lyme disease into the city. Their advice is to wear long pants and sleeves in wooded areas, apply insect repellent, and after spending time outdoors in wooded or bushy areas, shower to remove ticks before they become attached. Carefully check your full body and head for ticks, and if you find one, remove it with tweezers as soon as possible. So do you think that there is more public awareness about this now? I, I definitely think there's more public awareness. Uh, mm -hmm. It's only really in the last couple of years that the general public has become aware of it, um, because more and more people are getting bitten. Most symptoms of Lyme disease appear between 3 and 30 days after a bite, and if caught early enough, most cases can be treated successfully with antibiotics. For City News, I'm Tini Asdani.